two serving PSNI officers are being investigated for sharing pictures of a dead body. Former PSNI Chief Constable George Hamilton made a referral to the police ombudsman after a Twitter account was linked to one of the constables, which had shared tweets such as, Awesome, couple of hangings in the last couple of days. The same account also tweeted, Is it bad that hanging bodies make me laugh? Both tweets were said to have been posted in April 2017 when the investigation started. Yes, the investigation has been ongoing for five years. Offences being probed include allegations that one of the officers took pictures of a body having been called to a property where a suicide had taken place. Relatives were later alerted that a picture of their loved one had been placed in a social media group chat. The pictures were graphic and featured speech bubbles photoshopped over the young man's face and his clothing tampered with. It seems the only reason this came out is due to police officers publicly abusing high profile figures on their social media and being investigated for that. Police also discovered that one man posing as an officer on Twitter was a civilian with no policing experience. He was investigated by the PSNI as the Ombudsman had no remit over him. A file on that person has been sent to the Public Prosecution Service. There has been, quite rightly, some criticism of how long the case has taken with the officers at the centre of the investigation, suspended on full pay for almost five years. Investigation into the police troll accounts led to the arrest of an ex-Greater Manchester police officer, Lee Howard, who ran an anonymous Twitter profile. Howard was convicted in 2022 of eight offences involving unauthorised access to computer data and disclosing personal data. However, he was allowed to walk free from court after the judge was told he was a nutcase and was going through treatment. The delay in the Ombudsman investigation, compared to how quickly Manchester Police are said to have dealt with Howard, has led to criticism and questions being asked at the policing board. It is believed that the delay is partially due to the original file sent to the Public Prosecution Service last year had been having to be restructured after further information came to light. But a spokesperson for Police Ombudsman, Marie Anderson's office, has said in 2017 the Police Ombudsman decided it was necessary in the public interest to commence an investigation into concerns that police information had been shared via the social media platform Twitter. During the course of the Police Ombudsman investigation, two police officers were interviewed under criminal caution on suspicion of a range of offences, including breaches of the Data Protection Act, computer misuse, theft, possession and supply of drugs and misconduct in public office. The police ombudsman has sent a file for direction to the Public Prosecution Service in relation to this investigation. The police ombudsman investigation into potential misconduct matters relating to this conduct is ongoing. It would not be appropriate to comment further at this time. Again, I will of course keep an eye on this and any further information I shall bring to you. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will and until next time stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.